Hey guys, it's Nick here again with Visualicity. I'm here in my home office with all the taxidermy I didn't decorate, I swear. In this Cornerstone tutorial, we're going to be talking about custom and feature headline, how to customize them, why you should be using them, and we're also going to be giving you guys a couple of CSS snippets that we use consistently to make our custom and feature headlines look really good. We're also giving away a free Cornerstone template in this video. It's actually the template that we record the video over. So if you want the CSS snippets and everything that we use in the video, go ahead and download that template. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Leave any feedback in the comments. Let me know what kind of tutorials you guys want to see. Thanks again for watching and enjoy. As web developers, we're obsessed with ranking in Google. And according to Searchmetrics 2015 study, 80% of websites listed in the top 10 for popular keywords had an H1, and 74% of websites listed in the top 10 had an H2. So for Cornerstone users, this makes custom and feature headline extremely important. We should be using them on all of our pages. We rank in Google by having a combination of all the things that Google regularly looks for. Before I talk about the customization of custom headline and feature headline, I just want to say that you can globally customize the headings on your site through the customizer. This is extremely useful for site-wide customization. You're able to change the font, font color, font weight, font spacing, and even make every headline uppercase. So I recommend checking that out, especially if you'd like to streamline your website's headline customization. To make life a little easier for you guys, we recorded this video over a template that we have for free download up on our website. So I'm going to leave a link right now for that in case you'd like to get the CSS codes or just use this template on your website. You, can, you guys can use it for whatever you'd like, so go ahead and just grab it. So to start off, I want to answer the question, what's the difference between feature headlines and custom headlines? And the answer to that is feature headlines have an icon while well, custom headlines have the option to put an accent. Other than that, though, they all have the text heading levels, text color, alignment, as well as the ID class and style options. Most of the headlines customizations are very self-explanatory, so we're not going to go over all the options in depth in this video. What we'd like to do is really tell you guys how to customize your headlines and make them look good, as well as show you guys how to use some extremely useful CSS code snippets on custom and feature headline. So the first code that I want to show you guys is really basic, but it adds a really nice three-dimensional feel to your headlines. Now I'm going to use the text dash shadow colon two pixels, two pixels, and I'm going to make it, let's see, let's make it white. So I'm going to do A8, 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 A8 as the HTML code. And that will give it a nice white shadow, which will give it kind of a three-dimensional feel. And it's important to note that it will also add a shadow to the icon that's attached to feature headline. For a little clarification to the newbie CSS users watching, the first 2px in text shadow represents the size of the horizontal shadow, and the second 2px represents the size of the vertical shadow. So I'm also going to go down and add that same code to the custom headline. And I think I'm going to change the color here. And I'm going to change the color of that one to something that's actually darker. So I'll do 84884. All right, and that'll add a darker background shadow to the headline. And that really just helps add more of a three dimensional feel to your website. It's a small touch that really looks great. What's cool about feature headline is you can change the icon color and the icon's background color. So that's another nice customization that's really easily accessible inside of Cornerstone. You'll notice here when I scroll down that the accents on the sides of custom headlines have disappeared, and that is because I cut and got rid of the code that I had that was making them black. Now, by default, on my theme currently, the custom headlines' accents are white. And this is a problem because custom headlines, you don't have the ability to change the accent color inside a cornerstone, which makes you have to use CSS to customize these. So this is where we're going to get into a little bit more of the CSS part of the video, and show you guys how you can customize your accents and change their color, which is really actually important. So in order to change the color of your custom headlines accent, you need to get 
the class selector for it. So what I do is in Google Chrome, I right click on the custom headline, inspect so I can see the CSS, make sure I locate the proper spot in Google Chrome. So hover over it and you should see the headline highlight. Open up the span that contains it, click before, and that code right there that I just highlighted is the code that will be able to customize headlines. So if you don't want to go through the trouble of actually having to find this code on your own, it will be in the template download that I mentioned earlier, as well as I'll have this snippet on a page on our website. So I'll have links to both of those in the description. So once you get that code, you want to copy it and paste it into your custom CSS for the page that you want to edit the accent on, of course. So having the selector for your accent allows you to do a lot of cool stuff. I'm just going to start out by showing you how to change the colors of the accent, as well as maybe add another accent line. So I'm starting off with the code border top, one pixel, which will be the width of the accent, solid, which will make it just a straight line, and here's the color, which will be a dark color. Okay, and then now I'll be doing the code for the bottom accent. So this is actually how you would add two lines. And so border bottom, one pixel solid, same thing as above. Okay, and now I'm just going to add the important tag because a lot of times the global accent customization will keep this from working. So I'm going to add that to both of these. Clean this up a bit. And there you have it, double lined accents at that color. Cool, so now what if I wanted to customize it a little bit? There's an extremely useful page on w3schools.com that goes over all of the types of border customizations that you can do. So if you're into customizing your accents, I definitely recommend you pick through this and check it out because there's so many different options that you can do for these accents with just a little bit of CSS and that page makes it really useful just to plug these in and play around with them. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, right now I'm just going to show off a couple of the things you can do. One of my favorite changes is customizing the borders style. Translation changing the way the line looks. And so I'm going to start off by just showing off the solid to dash transition here. There's a ton of different options for customizing the lines and the accents. All of those are listed in that W3 Schools article that I mentioned earlier. So the next thing I want to show you guys is a really cool little trick that we've been using a lot lately, and that is putting an icon in between a custom headline, or rather in between accents, and using it as sort of a divider for a page to organize the page. So this one actually does take a little bit of code, but don't fret. Like I said, this code also comes with the template if you don't want to have to recreate it. So the way we do this is by using the text box or the text element. So I drag that in. And we go to the little box here that says insert, insert short code. Click it, click typography, go to custom headline, and here we're going to generate our own headline code. So we leave the text blank. I'm going to make the alignment center because I like the icon to be in the middle. Make the heading level 5 because I don't want it to be really indexed by Google as you know, an important heading. It'll look like 5 and have accent on. and I like to make the margin all none. So we insert that short code and you can see it generates the code inside of the text box. Now right away you can see that the accent is having the same CSS that we did earlier attached to it, which we'll show you how to change that in a minute. But right now I wanna show you how to add the icon in the middle of the accent. And you do that with code. So what you type is bracket x underscore icon space type, which will declare the type of icon. So you're going to put this after an equal sign in quotations, and this is going to be the name of your icon. So we'll go over how to get that name in a moment. Right now we're using cloud because this is the cloud theme. Then you type style, which is where you enter your CSS styling, equals, quotation, and I'm just going to use the color styling, 
option, and I'm going to do a hashtag FFF, which is the HTML color code for white. Make sure I use a quotation to close that off, and then make an end bracket, and boom, there's our cloud. So as you can see, our cloud actually has a little pop-out when we hover over it. That's just from some custom CSS that we have on this template, so not all icons will have that. If you'd like to change the icon from something other than a cloud, the way that you get the type of icon is just by hovering over the icon that you want to use inside the icon interface. So you can see when I hover over, it shows the name. We would just replace cloud with the name that we wanted to use. It's really pretty straightforward. So you just go in and change the name to whatever you'd like it to be. So as I said earlier, this accent is still using the same CSS that we used to customize the accents on this page earlier, but I want to make this one a different color because the background in this section is blue, so I'd like the accent to be white. So in order to do that, I'm going to add an ID to the text box or the text element that we created to create this accent. And that way I can specifically target this accent inside of my custom CSS, which will allow me to edit this accent independent of any other accents on the page. We have a tutorial that goes in depth on how to use the ID class and style boxes. So if you're not really sure how to do this kind of stuff, there is a link popping up right now for that. To start out, I'm going to make the ID for this text box that contains the icon in it, top accent. Just make it something memorable so you can use it later. And I'm going to open up my custom CSS again, and I'm going to copy that same CSS that we used earlier to customize our previous accent, and I'm going to duplicate it. And now what we have to do is add our ID to the specific accent selectors that we just duplicated. So what that means is you have to type hashtag, which is what you need to use to select IDs, top accent, and I'm going to add that to the first selector. So you'll see after the comma, the next selector starts, and that's where we're going to put hashtag top accent to modify the second selector. And I'm going to change the accent style to solid, and I'm going to make the color white so it shows better on this blue background. And once again, I'm just using the HTML code for white. Make sure the bottom line is solid as well. And let's check it out. That looks great. So that's how you select different accents as well as customize accents and put icons inside of them. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe for more. Give this video a like and also please comment and let me know what kind of cornerstone or even WordPress tutorials you guys want to see. I'm really curious to hear what our audience wants to see. Thank you so much to all the subscribers that I have now. I can't believe how much we've grown so far, so thank you so much. I appreciate all the positive feedback. It's really kept us going. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.